If you are a JavaScript developer and you work on Windows, it's time to install WSL2. Because of Windows 11, it's now super easy to go ahead and get started with WSL. All you have to do is open PowerShell and type one single command, WSL-install. That will download Ubuntu off of the Windows Store, usually using the latest. Um, and you can also pick a different distro if you would like. And uh, it'll five minutes, you'll be working in Ubuntu on Windows. And it's incredibly fast, up to 30% faster for doing local builds with JavaScript, we found. And uh, yeah, it's the easiest thing in the world. Let me show you how. All right, so to get started, like I said before, all you have to do is type WSL-install. And that is going to go ahead and install a handful of things for us in the background. First thing is the virtual machine platform, and then actually WSL, Windows System for Linux. So that only takes just a few seconds here. And then lastly, it will go to the Windows Store and get us Ubuntu. And in this case, it's probably going to get the latest, which is 22.03 or 04, I think, at this point. So, And you can also get additional distros from the Windows Store later. And that's it. It's done, <laughs> just that fast. The first time you boot it after a system restart, it's gonna ask for your username and password. And once you put all that information in, you will be good to go. Uh, make sure you have a good password there. And uh, so now you can actually just, it'll launch you directly into Bash on uh, inside of Ubuntu. It has its own file system, by the way, it's, it's separate from your Windows one. So I say I have my slash home slash jQuery directory. It's my own virtual hard disk. Um, but what's really cool is now once you use Windows, if you use Windows Terminal, um, you'll get an Ubuntu option. And so anytime going forward, you'll be able to launch directly into Ubuntu. And if you need to get something off of your Windows drive and move it over, like say you download something from Edge, it goes in your downloads folder, you can actually copy it from Windows over. And it's super simple. Um, you just copy from slash MNT slash C and it's all there. Your MNT, your C drive is just ready for you. So now that you have WSL installed and ready to go, it's super easy to just open uh, your editor in there. So I'll take a look at this. So I now have my Zish uh, and all that installed that I, I love to do. Oh, my Zish is uh, a way to just have all kinds of cool plugins for your Z shell. So as you can see my terminal now has that little tilde. I've got uh, NVM installed, which is the best way to do uh, node installations. So I've got node, I think I'm on just 18 right now. And uh, from here, you can clear my screen and uh, Windows automatically, the first time you do this, um, you can just type code and let's actually make a, a folder, I guess. Um, I think I'm in projects. Let's make a folder called projects. Let's need to get into projects and we'll just say like, uh, make your thing, I don't know. And then from here, the, again, the very first time you do this, it'll install a VS Code server for you automatically. And so I can type code thing and it will open VS Code for me. And uh, we'll take a look at what that looks like. All right, so here I am. I am now inside that folder I just created and VS Code has uh, the same stuff going on. The Zish uh, automatically loads because I installed that. And right, I'm just ready to, to edit. See, it's, I've got this. Um, WSL thing down here telling me what's going on. This is, I, I can't, I always forget if it's like built in now or not, but I know there is a WSL plugin. I may just have it installed already. I don't, I, I don't know if it comes with it or not. So you may need to install that extension to make that part work. But either way, I am now ready to rock and roll. I can make, you know, index.js or a package JSON, whatever I want. And of course, I'm, I'm, I'm editing, working in Ubuntu. I am on a Windows machine, as you can see up here, and yet I am working in Ubuntu, and that is just amazing. So everything's going to be nice and fast. You're going to have what you're used to. If you're a Mac developer and you're now suddenly finding yourself on Windows, you'll get all that nice Unixy stuff. Um, this is the way to go. This is the way to develop JavaScript uh, in 2024 and beyond.